Okay, this part takes a little more explaining and I don't want to type all of this, so I'm just going to say it and then the rest of it is going to be me analyzing the situation, what Randy's doing, and it's just his general decision. But overall, one of the reasons that he got corrupt is naturally nobody's perfect. Everybody has some part of them that's not particularly the best. And Randy's a great guy, we all know this, but obviously he has flaws. And before anybody mentions that he's OOC in season 2 and that's part of the problem, I mean maybe they could be going off that, but going off actual like the accurate version of his character, basically it's not him, you know, having that, that second of questioning. I want this thing and they need me. It's how long they had him do it or just in general not even having him question it because like we saw in season one, there's that split second where he'll question it, maybe even a little longer than that, but he'll always put people first. It's, it's okay to show he wants to do the thing and then like, no, no, this is what I need to do. But they didn't do that in season two, and that's the problem. It's not having him doubt it or question it that's the issue. It's just, in general, he always chose wrong or took too long to choose, and that's what's out of character. But still going off of that for like him getting corrupted, he does have greed. And I look, I understand some of the stuff he did was stupid in season two, but that's kind of the thing. He's he's a kid, and they want to do stuff, and they're going to do it no matter how dumb it is or how reckless it is. I mean, Randy still broke the law in both seasons. He still broke into places. He still almost killed. He's still done all this stuff, and that's what the ball used to corrupt him. Uh, I'll point out the specific ones, but basically, whether we like it or not, Randy does have a very... I'll say very strong <laughs> connection to greed in general. Like, if we're talking about the seven deadly sins, he is a very strong contender for greed. And that's not just a season two thing, just in general, he's a kid who really, really wants stuff. He wants money, games, toys. He wants these things, uh, popu even popularity, like not even a physical thing. He just wants a lot of stuff. The only difference is, unlike Howard, he can control it. He knows that there's other stuff that he should prioritize over this. But the Chaos Pearl still sees this greed in him and uses it to corrupt him. And just, there's other ones I'm not fully thinking of, because mainly greed's like the forefront of his flaws. I guess you'd, I guess in general you'd also use his necessity to kill, because I mean, personally, I would see that as a flaw. Like, that's just me, though. I don't know. That's debatable. But the point is, it's stuff like that is why he got corrupted. It's not a season two thing in total. It's more of just it used his weaknesses, his his insecurities, his greed, and if you agree with me, maybe his necessity to kill his ego as well, and fed into that, to use the Chaos Pearl. But um, I'm also going to be, like I said, going over the scenes and showing you how it slowly got to him, which I actually think is pretty cool. It's showing you it actually took a, a, good, a, a decent amount of effort to get to, to his heart and actually corrupt him a little bit, which I thought was neat.